Well, hello, y'all. This is M.L. Caster with the Redneck Renegade Radio. Today is August the 3rd, 2021. The Lord impressed upon my heart to share a special message with you all. This is a message that was given to me on September 11th, 2019. Probably, like so many of you, you guys probably keep a record of some sort or a journal of some sort of any interactions that you may have with Heavenly Father or from the heavenly realm, any special messages, revelations. It's always a good idea to keep a record of these events in your life so you can hand them down to your posterity. There is one particular event that happened on this date that I needed to share with you all. I feel we're all, we all have a heavy heart right now. We're all trying to figure out how we're going to take care of our families with the events that are unfolding each and every day. But we need to be mindful that we're not alone, that he loves us. He loves us completely and unconditionally. It's okay to be worried. It's okay to have fear. It's natural. It's what makes us human. But you know what the answer is? We have a one-way relationship with our God, with our Father. We have a Father that is overseeing all things that are happening in our lives and around us, in our nations, and around the world, y'all. There is a message of hope. And He is the message. Please bear with me. I'm going to read from my journal. And this is that message. An Encounter with the Lord, The Message The Lord said to me, My sweet Elias, Don't you know me? He went on to say, The world has become such a frightening place, So much anger and not enough love. Deep in the hearts of so many people, there's an emptiness that nothing of this world can fill. And that emptiness makes it impossible for them to love. And I said to the Lord, It's so overwhelming. What should you have me do, Father? He then counseled and instructed me. And this is his instruction for us. Remind them that I love them, that I died for them. Tell them that my love for them is real, and that if they open their hearts to it, I will fill that emptiness, so that they will be able to love one another again. That's the message, Elias. It hasn't changed. Tell them, Elias. Tell them. Y'all, I began to weep that night as I had the special experience and message from the Savior. I wept and I wept and I cried for the love that was just given to me by the Lord in this special message. I sat on the edge of my bed that night for what seemed a few hours and in the middle of the night as I cried out, repenting to the Lord after that special message. All I could remember were the events in my life that I needed to repent for. It's amazing how when I repented to the Lord, He opened my mind up. The Holy Spirit conveyed upon my mind so that I could go back when I was a little child. I remembered the very first lie that I had ever told. Then each and every point of time in my life that I had lied, stolen, that I had impure feelings and impure thoughts, came flooding back to me. Every wrongful deed and action that I had ever done, every deceit that I had participated in, every pain and every suffering 
that I had inflicted on anyone came rushing back to me. One after another after another, I was able to remember each and every instance in my life of a sin that I had committed or a transgression. I cried. I cried and begged for forgiveness. I had never had this experience before in my life. Like so many of you, I've repented many, many times. But the Lord enabled me that night to go back in time in my mind's eye and reflect on every point in my life in which I committed a sin and a wrongful act. And I begged him for his forgiveness. I begged for hours and hours. I want you all to know that Christ Messiah, Yahusha, He's our Father. He loves us completely. He loves us unconditionally. This is a special message that He wanted me to convey to you all. I hope you take this, you think about it, you ponder about it, you pray about it. Because I feel in the days that we're living in, we need to get right with the Lord, y'all. We need to set things straight. And the only way we can set those things straight in our life is to acknowledge all the things that we've done. Really acknowledge them. So that we can have that second baptism. Not a baptism of water, but a baptism of the fire of the Holy Ghost. That is the only way that we can be truly cleansed and be purified once we do that you're going to start experiencing spiritual experiences the veil of the heavenly realm will open up to you and you're going to be able to call upon angels for protection you're going to be able to exercise spiritual warfare in a manner that you've never been able to call upon before you're going to be able to use the power and authority that's given to all of us by our Father to be able to hold back the adversary, the principalities of darkness. You'll be able to help heal the sick and afflicted, both spiritually and physically. It's promised to us. Remember that the Lord gave us counsel. He told us, that greater things we shall be able to accomplish than he was able to accomplish while he was here among us. That's a promise to us, y'all. We just have to get right with the Lord. And there's a way to do it. I shared this message with you because I love you. And I want each and every one of you to be able to have peace in your life. Because the only way that we're going to be able to make it through the days that are coming is to have true peace in our lives. And that peace can only come through a relationship with our Father. He is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. He is the Alpha and Omega of all creations. He is the Most High God. He is Christ Messiah Yahusha. I love you. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.